Hi everyone, Tim here. Uh, today's video is going to be on some basic machining formulas. So what I want to discuss is the uh, speeds, feeds, and depths of cut. And uh, this will be for milling this time and we'll do another one in the future, a video in the future on uh, turning. So let's get started. So today we're going to talk about your speeds, feeds, and depths of cut. So what it will be will be how to calculate your spindle RPM, your uh, feet and inches per minute, and your depths of cut. And also we're going to show you how to calculate the required horsepower. This is particularly important if you have a uh, like a mini mill or something like that. You don't want to exceed uh, what you got there at the spindle. So how to get your spindle speed from known to surface feet per minute. Well, here's some examples of the surface feet per minute, and this would be taken from like a machinist handbook. And this, uh, the HSS is the high speed steel end mills. So for stainless steel, it's 40 surface feet, and uh, like aluminum would be 400 surface feet per minute, and so on. So there's a constant uh, multiplier of 3.82 that we use um, to multiply uh, by the surface feet and then divide it by the diameter of the tool. Now there's a formula in the machinist handbook that uh, is pretty lengthy. It's n equals 12v over pi d, but uh, long and short of it, what it comes out to be is about 3.82. Some people use the number 4, which is fine, uh, but this will get you pretty close. So for example, to get the RPM for aluminum, we're going to multiply using that constant 3.82 and take that by the 400 surface feet per minute for aluminum. Now we're going to divide it by the tool diameter. So for example, we're going to use a 3 quarter inch um, end mill. 3.8 by 4 divided by 0.750. Our RPM at the spindle will be 2037. The next thing we want to know is our chip load. And the chip load is also known as the feed per tooth. So to get the feed per tooth, just take your cutter diameter and divide it by 200. So an example here, 3 quarter inch end mill, and we're going to divide it by 200. That gives us 0 0.00375. You could use 4. Uh, so for our inches per minute, uh, to calculate our feed rate, now we know we have our RPM. We're going to take that times the number of teeth, or number of flutes we have, and we're going to multiply it by our chip load. So now using that 3 food end mill, use this example in aluminum, we know it's 400 surface feet a minute times our constant 3.82 divided by 0.75. Our spindle speed will be 2037. We're going to divide um, our 3 quarter inch end mill by 200 to get our 0 0.00375 feet per tooth. Now we're going to take our spindle speed times our number of flutes times our chip load per flute and that gives us 22.91 or 23 inches per minute. So the next thing we're going to do is figure out what our depth of cut would be. For our actual depth of cut, simply divide the uh, cutter diameter by 2. So if we took a 3 quarter inch end mill, that 0.75, divided by 2, we get 0.375 uh, depth of cut. Your overlap uh, or radial depth of cut should be about 70% less of that cutter diameter. So 0.75 times 70% is 0.525. Now by axial depth of cut, I mean what you're going to come down in your Z. And uh, of course the radial depth of cut would be like your X. Um, now next thing we want to do is, is figure our horsepower calculations. And I'm going to do that on the, uh, a slot cut. Now a slot cut would be taking that full width of that end mill, that uh, 0.75, and uh, going through there uh, 0.375 deep. Now that's probably a bit much for a, a slot cut, but that's what we're going to do our horsepower calculations. If you did go 375 deep on there, then you're going to have to reduce your feed about 60%. So if we had uh, 23 inches a minute and we went like 60% of that, it'd be somewhere around uh, 14 inches a minute. Uh, and especially with a mini mill or something, you're going to want to back that off quite a bit. But uh, that's what we're going to do our horsepower calculation on. So we'll take our horsepower and we're going to take what is known as the machining removal rate times the machining factor. Some people call it a power factor. So it would be the MRR times the MF. 
The machining factor, uh, for example, a couple of materials here. For aluminum, it's only 0.3. For steel, it is 1. Now we're going to take a slot cut, which would be engaging the whole width of the three-quarter cutter. And to figure the horsepower, uh, going through that at a depth of um, uh, 0.375, we'll take our 23 inches a minute times our three-quarter cutter, um, and that's our width of cut, times our 375, our depth of cut, times our 0.3, our machining factor or power factor, equals 1.94 or 2 horsepower. So that's what we need to have, uh, and you would have to adjust accordingly. If you had a mini mill, you may not be able to take near so deep a cut with that, or you may have to start out with a smaller end mill to do it. But that's in a nutshell, that's how you get your speed, your feed, and your depth of cut, and the requirements. Well, that's all I got for today. Um, there will be some more um, machining videos in the future, so stay tuned.